Hey, bro, so I just heard that you finally started your dread journey. Or at least you're thinking about it right now. And how do I know? Because you're watching this video right now. So I'm gonna put y'all on game. First off, if you're tired of doing your hair, you tired of the maintenance work or all them hours that you put into your hair, bro, and you need something with less maintenance, this is the hairstyle for you. If you like switching your hair up too much, if you like doing different hairstyles, this is not for you, gang. I'm gonna say y'all this time, bro. Y'all click on the video right now, man. All right, for my people that's about to start locks, right? If you're about to start your locks, make sure you ask your barber or whoever does it, your hairstylist, whoever does it, to keep a front taper. You always want a front taper. You see how my lining is and got the taper on, on the bottom of it? Because if you don't do that tip, bro, your hairline gonna recede. I'm, I'm, I'm just telling you, bro. I'm just telling you, you don't want your locks directly on your hairline. I be seeing that so many times. So many uh, hairstylists do that, bro. Do not put your locks on your hairline because it will make your hairline keep going back. You don't want that, bro. And some of you guys are asking, like, how long does the locking process take, right? Um, once you, first off, when you get your starting locks, your starting locks aren't locked completely yet. You have to wait two to three weeks in order for your hair to completely lock up. How they start locks is comb coils. They're just coils. They're just curl patterns or curl uh they look like crunchy curls i ain't gonna lie but once it's locked uh you you good to go i ain't gonna lie you good to go maintenance free but make sure you always drenching your hair in water always soak your hair in water bro water will make it lock up way faster if your hair having a hard time locking up always drench in water bro all right when it comes to oiling your hair when you moisturizing your hair always be careful Read labels because if you put too much oil, too much product in your hair, bro, it causes buildup. Another thing that causes buildup, if the oil that you use is too thick, always use thin oils to put in your hair or sprays. Sprays are key. I ain't gonna lie. Sprays are key to put in your locks because it won't have that buildup, that white buildup. And once you get that white buildup, bro, you going, you going to the salon to get you a... a detox real quick because detox mean more money since we're talking about the build up and locks um this brings me next to my next point when you sleeping bro i see a lot of people doing this step completely backwards completely wrong always wear a head cover over your head when you sleep i don't care if it's a um bonnet or a do-rag something that covers your head bro because just because you have long hair and you don't have waves, you still need a do-rag or something that covers your head up. And here's why. Your dreads will become less frizzy. And a lot of people don't know this, but there's a lot of lint that's on your pillow. And the lint that's on your pillow could go into your head, into your dreadlocks. And you don't want that, bro. You don't want that because it looks bad. It looks un unkept. You gotta keep your stuff pure. You see how my stuff is pure? You see, you see that? It's because I wear do-rag. I wear do-rag 24 seven all the time, bro. All the time. And you see how it's not frizzy? If you don't do this, your stuff be frizzy, bro. I'm gonna keep it above. And guess what? You take another trip to get your detox. Psh, now more bread coming out your pocket. Mm -mm -mm. Retwist already costs uh, a grip a grip of money you feel me so make sure you got your stuff right bro and if you're not the type to wear do rags or anything that cover your head up get you a silk pillowcase get you silk pillowcases bro because it does the same thing a do rag does or a bonnet does you just don't have anything on your head because cotton strips your dread and then you don't want you don't want your ends to break off your ends will also break off too you see how my ends is good you see that now i didn't dye my hair by the way the sun dyed my hair uh, okay when you washing a lot for my brothers and sisters out there man i know we like to wash our hair sometimes like every two days every three days because our hair get dry so we try to put our nutrients back in right but with dreads that's a complete no-go. You gotta, don't even wash your hair every week. Do not wash your hair every week, bro. I know it sound crazy. Believe me, I thought it was crazy too because I was so used to washing my hair. 
but um, what you're actually doing if you wash your hair every week is stripping your hair of nutrients, but the nutrients helps our hair grow. The oils, the natural oils is perfect for our hair. That's why I would recommend washing your hair every two weeks. I say every two weeks, yeah. That's what I do at least. Cause I just got a retwist not too long ago. And you, see, you see how good it still is, my scalp and stuff. I just oil my hair, that's why it looks so good. But And make sure you oil, uh, do more oiling your hair instead of washing your hair. Like oil your scalp, you always got oil your scalp. Your scalp gonna be dry, your scalp gonna be itching, I ain't gonna lie, but you gonna have to put oil on there instead of washing your hair. And if y'all wondering, I've been growing my hair out for three years and 10 months, yeah? I know on my last video I said seven years, I've been growing my hair out for seven years, but I started getting dreads uh, January 22nd, 2020. All right, so, when you, so after you get out the shower, all right, you wondering how I'm gonna dry off, how I'm gonna dry my hair off. Oh yeah, duh, I'm finna use a dry towel, right? That is not the way to go. I ain't gonna lie. That's not what you're supposed to do. And a lot of people get this step really wrong. So I'm really rocking with y'all, bro. I'm really putting y'all on game right here. So y'all gonna have to drop a like. After washing y'all locks, use a old t-shirt. Yes, I said it, an old t-shirt. The ones that you got a piss stain under, the one that got a hole in it, you feel me? Use one of those, yeah, yeah. Cause I'm gonna tell you why. If you use that, when you put it on your head, when you put it on your dress, if, especially if your dress is long as mine, bro, it soaks up, the t-shirt soaks up the wetness. Whereas a towel, a towel, it, it don't absorb the same. And if you use your dry towel to soak your hair up, it, it becomes musty. And you don't want that, bro. I ain't gonna lie, you don't want that. Not only does it save your dry towel from being, uh, dry towel from stinking, it also absorbs the water and causes less breakage of your hair. When you use a dry towel, you know, them little prongs that be on the dry towel and stuff like that? It'd be breaking your hair off. I'm telling you, bro, it'd be breaking your hair off. And you don't even be knowing. You'd be like, man, why my, why my roots look thinner? Why this look thinner? Why is my ends popping off? It's because you're using your dry towel. You need to use a t-shirt because a t-shirt is softer. Imagine having your glasses, right? Having glasses. And you're using a, a napkin that's with hard bristles, right? You're scratching the lens up. But if you use a, a softer thing, like a t-shirt or something like that, you're not really scratching up your surface, you feel me? All right, now your hair done grew out, right? And you wondering, like, how long should I wait to get another retwist? Do not get a retwist every week, every two weeks, because what it does is it's the whoever's doing your hair, they stretching the scalp out, stretching the scalp out, stretching your hair out, right? And you don't want that like same like tension on your head 24 seven because it's gonna pull some dreads out. So always at least wait two months, two months, yeah. At least two months to get your hair retwisted over again. Now, if you have a special occasion, okay, I see that. I see that you need, need an emergency. It's an emergency retwist. But don't you, don't, don't have a lot of those, bro. Cause you don't want your stuff falling out or your, now your roots gonna get thin again and stuff so you don't want that man and hairstyles are cool but sometimes they could thin your dreads out too like the two strand twists i know they look tough i know they look tough bro but that's the main one that be thinning like roots out it thins some of mine out bro like the ones on my corners it's combined now because i had to use i did a two strand style but it did something to my hair it thinned my hair out a little bit so i had to chill on it for a minute i've been wearing my stuff natural I, I rarely even get uh, hairstyles. I don't even get hairstyles. That was probably like my first one. I'm probably gonna start doing them again, but not too much, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Because I like the natural look. My natural look is raw. I was gonna dye my hair too, but there's no point. Oh, and dyeing your hair, 
Do not dye your hair all the time, bro. Dyeing your hair breaks your hair off completely and it stops your growth. The growth decreases insanely when you keep on dyeing your hair. If you keep on dyeing your hair, you see this part right here, bro? You see this part? This? Sometimes it takes this much of your dread off. Not even lying. Not even lying. So avoid dyeing your hair all the time. If you're gonna do it, do it every once in a while. And I wouldn't recommend blonde your full hair, your full head of hair, bro, because you stripping the nutrients in your hair and you need that for your hair to grow. So what sense does that make to keep on dying your hair? It don't, it don't make sense at all, bro. Especially if you got hair like mine, how the sun died. What you, what you dying your hair for really, bro? You know what I'm saying? If you gonna dye it, just dye a few strands. Don't dye the whole thing. All right, bro, now that I just put y'all on game on everything about dreads and how to have a successful dread journey, hey, rock with me real quick, man. Press on this video right here, my dread journey. I showed y'all my dread journey. It's very popular, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all liked it for sure, for sure. So go ahead and press on this, man. I'm gonna catch y'all boys next time.